Hey guys, and thanks for joining me today. We're going to take a look back at 2019 and all the amazing things that Porsche gave us month by month. So let's get started on this video now. In January, guys, Porsche announced that 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport. It would come in two different versions. One for the weekend race car driver and another one for the professional competition teams out there. Of the many unique features of the 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport is that its doors and rear wing are made out of flax and hemp fibers. Yep, I can see all those Porsche fans in Colorado going crazy over this new uh, Cayman. Hey Colorado, just joking, just joking. So, back to the new GT4 Club Sport. This car features Porsche's 3.8 liter flat 6 pumping out 425 ponies. It's surrounded by a factory welded in cage with a 6 point seatbelt system. In addition, Porsche added a rescue hatch in the roof and that killer Crossworth cluster and steering wheel to boot. This is a pretty sweet looking GT4 for the Cayman. In February, one of the most famous racing Porsches ever celebrated its 50th birthday, and the Porsche Museum in Germany is celebrating by restoring the very first Porsche 917 car to its original condition. The man who designed the 917, Mr. Metzger, set out to build a car that would sweep all the classes at the 24 Hours of Le Mans and win the brand world championships. Not only did he design the 12-cylinder engine, but he designed the entire race car based upon his vision. In March, at the Geneva Motor Show, Porsche launched three new models. The new 911-992 Cabriolet, the new Minijin 718T, and the Macan S. The new Macan S is powered by an all-redesigned V6 engine. It's a 3-liter Twin scrolling turbocharger and a central turbo layout. The engine is producing right around 350 horses. The new 718T is loaded with the flat 2 liter turbocharged engine, putting out over 300 horses to the road. And of course, the new ragtop, the 992, combines sexy lines of the traditional 911 with its 3 liter flat 6 turbo, making 450 horsepower. What a beautiful car! In April, tennis star Petra Kutreva, after seven tries, finally won herself the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix and a new 911 Career 4S cab. What a lucky girl, I tell you. Porsche brought its Aces for Charity campaign, which donated 112 bucks for every ace hit during the course of the tournament. A total of 212 were struck in 2019. In May, the 991 Speedster concept went into production with only 1,948 cars being built by the end of 2019. This number is tied to the first year that the Porsche Speedster name was used. This double-humped cab comes in just two colors, silver and red. It has a six-speed transmission and not the normal seven-speed transmission found on the current production 991, but this car with its four-liter flat six produces 510 horses. And it's June, and you know what that means. Racing! The 24 Hours of Le Mans, my personal favorite. This year, Porsche took to the road to win it all. With their number 92 Porsche 911 RSR at the season finale, they scored enough points with their win at the 24-hour race to clinch the IFA World Endurance Championship, plus the Manufacturer's World Championship title, and the GT AM Class of Le Mans. Porsche would win all the GT titles that this year's 24 Hours of Le Mans. In July, Porsche driver Mark Webber took on the Goodwill Hill Race in West Sussex in South England behind the wheel of the Taycan, producing over 600 combined horsepower and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. In August, Porsche kept up with its e-hybrid cars with the release of the new Cayenne Turbo S e-hybrid coupe. This 4-liter V8 puts out 680 horsepower combined while delivering, if my math is correct, around 60 miles per gallon or 3.7 liters per 100 kilometers, plus a 0 to 60 time of 3.8 seconds and up to 6,500 pounds of towing capacity out of this hybrid SUV. In September, Porsche presented its first fully electrical sports car to the public with the world premiere of the Porsche Taycan Turbo but they premiered it at the same time in America, China, and Europe. The new Taycan is not only great for the environment, but the new factory Porsche built to build the Taycan in sets new standards in energy efficiency and environmental friendliness. 
the new Taycan can generate up to 760 horsepower combined and consume 27 kilowatts per 60 miles. I don't know what the hell that means other than the days of grabbing a hot dog or a coffee at the gas station are going to be a thing of the past soon. One thing I do know is the new Taycan can push your ass from 0 to 60 in as little as 2.6 seconds. And I've had the pleasure to feel what 2.6 seconds feels like. Just wait till you get your first time. The Taycan can fully recharge itself using DC in about 5 minutes of driving and has about a 60 mile range. This is going to be a car, I think, that changes everything at Porsche. In October, Porsche just could not hold back and release a new Taycan, the Taycan 4S. It's everything the original Taycan is, but gives you the full capabilities of what all-wheel drive cars give you. The new fully electric car features 19-inch rims, big red Brembo brake calipers, LED headlights, along with a huge 10.9-inch touchscreen display right in the middle of the dash. And for the very first time in a long time, you can get an entirely leather-free interior in the Taycan. The new interior is made up of recycled materials that kind of give into that whole concept of responsibility and recyclability in the cars that Porsche is producing now. Obviously, the Taycan is going to stay with us for quite a long time. Its electrical motor and energy efficiency of the vehicle, along with all the other creative things that Porsche is doing to lead the car company into the future. For November, we're back to racing. But this time, it's in the new FIA Formula E Racing which all the cars are completely fully electric race cars. Porsche has several teams in it right now. The number 36 car from Porsche um, currently is at 18 points. In its first race out, it picked up a sixth place win to give it 18 points. The next race is in Saudi Arabia, followed by several other races. One note of interest, the race will be here in July in New York City for America. And finally, in December, Porsche teamed up with Star Wars movie franchise to design a fantasy starship named the Tri-Wing S91X Pegasus Starfighter, and it was on display at the movie premiere in Los Angeles. The new Tri-Wing S91X has the basic shape and the cabin of that of the 911 and Taycan. Even the rear section of the starship bears the brand's hallmark light bar. And that wraps up this year in Porsche. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look back at all things that were Porsche in 2019. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Thanks guys so much. Can't wait to see you again in 2020. Have a great one. Bye.